Hello students, my name is Neeti Seed and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is 11th section of the chapter Cell, the basic unit of life. In this section of the video, we will continue to discuss about cell organelles present in eukaryotic cells or eukaryotes. In this section of the presentation, we will discuss about the ribosomes ribosomes they might be small but they do big things ribosomes they are tiny organelles as you can see that these are ribosomes which are very small in nature they are very tiny that it can't be seen with naked eyes they are tiny organelles that are found inside cells but their job is to make proteins some people think that bigger is better, but you can't tell that to a ribosome students. A ribosome, as you can see, that they are very tiny. It is one of the smallest structure in a cell, but it has a very big job to make protein. A ribosome is an organelle. An organelle are like tiny factories that help the cell of plant and animal function properly. Organelles, they are found in the cytoplasm of cell. Okay, so this green part is uh, what it is cytoplasm. So organelles uh, are these uh, ribosome. They are organelles. Okay, and these ribosomes they are found in the cytoplasm of the cell. Cytoplasm is somewhat a thick fluid that your organelles float in. Organelles such as nucleus, such as uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, ribosome, these are your organelles. So, what it uh, cytoplasm is this green part is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is somewhat a thick fluid that your organelles float in, kind of like a raft in a water. Like other organelles, you find ribosome floating freely. That's why it is called as free ribosomes. Okay. But ribosome can also be found clinging to rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. I'll explain what rough endoplasmic reticulum and what a smooth endoplasmic reticulum but for the time being just know that these uh, ribosome they are associated with the rough endoplasmic reticulum that's why its name is rough endoplasmic reticulum because it contains ribosome in it if endoplasmic reticulum does not have uh, ribosome in it then that endoplasmic reticulum is called as a smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay so these are the two categories of ribosomes students rough endoplasmic reticulum as i just told you that ribosomes are associated with the endoplasmic reticulum and that is called as uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum so rough endoplasmic reticulum is an organelle that works with ribosome in preparation of proteins it's called rough because ribosome that cling to its surface gives it a rough appearance see ribosome is uh, cling to its surface see this is uh, this purple is uh, color is denoting or representing endoplasmic reticulum so it's called rough because ribosomes are cling to its surface that gives it a rough and bumpy appearance okay so this is a rough endoplasmic reticulum now what do ribosomes do students it might help you to understand what ribosomes do if you think of them as a tiny protein making factories another term for making of protein is protein synthesis so ribosome they play a, an important role in protein synthesis. The protein made inside the ribosome can be used to build structures and it also fix uh, damaged cells and it helps out in other ways to students. So this is uh, the main and the crucial function of ribosome. So I gave you brief about it. Now let's see it in detail. Ribosome, these are non-membranous granular structure which is composed of ribonucleic acid that is RNA and protein. That means it is not surrounded ribosomes. I am talking about the ribosome. They are not surrounded by membrane 
और प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन दैट्स वाई दे आर कॉल्ड एज नॉन मेम्ब्रेनस ग्रैनुलर स्ट्रक्चर and it is composed of rna and protein that means rna plus protein it makes up ribosome i repeat rna plus protein together forms ribosome okay who was he george pallet ribosomes are the granular structure which we know that okay but it was first observed under electron microscope as dense particle by george pallet okay in year 1953 students they are composed of rna and proteins and they are not surrounded by any membrane that's why it is called as non membranous granular structure let's see now ribosomes ribosomes they are protein construction teams or protein makers cell need to make proteins enzymes made of protein are used to help speed up biological processes other proteins they support cell functions and they are found embedded in the membrane now proteins even make up most of your hair here your hair made up of a keratin protein so protein even make up most of your hair when a cell needs to make protein it looks for ribosome which are called as protein factories or protein construction team okay ribosomes they are protein builders or protein synthesizers of the cell they are like construction guys who connect one amino acid at a time and build long chain see uh protein is a amino acid polymer you can say okay so what does uh, ribosomes do ribosomes they are like construction guys who connect one amino acid at a time and build a long chain of amino acid and which we call it as uh, ribos or uh, proteins okay so ribosomes are protein construction teams okay now students ribosomes it is composed of two units two subunits one large see this is large subunit and this is a smaller subunit that only bind together during protein synthesis the purpose of the ribosome is to take the actual message and charged amino acid tRNA complex to generate protein to do so they have three binding sites which we are not going into detail of it for your course it is relevant to know that ribosome is composed of two subunits one is larger subunit and uh, another is a uh, smaller subunit in eukaryotes scientists have identified 60s which is a large subunit and 40s which is a small subunit even though ribosomes they have slightly different structures in different species their functional areas are all very similar okay i hope it is clear to you now that two pieces it makes the whole of the protein construction team so this way it uh, acts as a constructor a protein constructor team okay see these are two subunits eukaryotic ribosome it has two subunit larger unit is uh, called as 60s s here denotes wedbug unit and a smaller subunit is 40s so the together they form a ribosome see this is the smaller subunit 40s which is made up of 16s rrna r means ribosomal rna and 30 proteins are required to make a small subunit okay and this is larger subunit which we call it as 60s it is composed of 28s rrna that is ribosomal rna 5.8s rrna 5s rrna and 45 proteins are required to make 60s which is a larger subunit in of a ribosome present in eukaryotes okay so they together they form 80s subunit 
don't just add these two units because 40 plus 60 is equals to 800 uh, but they together form 80 su s subunit okay now let's see its structure in detail students ribosomes in a cell they are located in two regions of cytoplasm they are found scattered in cytoplasm and some are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum if ribosomes are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum then they are called as rough endoplasmic reticulum and when ribosomes are absent over endoplasmic reticulum then en that endoplasmic reticulum is called as a smooth endoplasmic reticulum so when the ribosome they are bound to er they are known as rough endoplasmic reticulum the bound and the free ribosome they are similar in structure bound ribosome means the ribosome which is cling with the endoplasmic reticulum to make rough endoplasmic reticulum they are called as bound ribosome so students please note that bound and free ribosome they are similar in structure and they are involved in protein synthesis ribosomes they are tiny particles about 200 angstrom that means they are that tiny ribosomes they are composed of both rna and protein that means rna plus protein is equals to ribosome about 37 to 62 percent of rna are made up of rna and rest is proteins without harming human cells okay so this was about the structure now uh, as i told you that ribosome it is made up of two subunits one is larger subunit and another is a smaller subunit in case of eukaryotes larger subunit is of 60s and in prokaryotes it is 50s and the uh, smaller subunit in case of prokaryote is 30s and in case of uh, eukaryote it is 40s so the subunits of ribosome they are named according to their ability of sedimentation on a special gel which the sweat bag unit this s it denotes sweat bug unit or it denotes sedimentation coefficient that means it is named according to their ability of sedimentation on a special gel prokaryotes they have 70s ribosome each subunit contains a small subunit is of 30s and large subunit is of 50s eukaryotes they have 80s ribosomes each consisting of a small and large subunit a small is 40 and large is 60s in case of eukaryotes and in case of prokaryotes it is 70s ribosome this larger unit is 50s in case of uh, prokaryotes and in case of prokaryotes a smaller subunit is 30s now the ribosomes they are found in chloroplast of mitochondria of eukaryotes that consist of large and small subunits bound together with proteins into one 70s particle and the students please note that the ribosome which is found in chloroplast of mitochondria of uh, eukaryotes consist of large and sub small subunit bound together with the protein into 170s particle ribosome they share a core structure okay ribosome they share a core structure which is similar to all ribosome despite difference in their sizes that means core structure will remain same ribosome share a core structure which is similar to all ribosome despite differences in their sizes now come to the main functions of uh, ribosomes students they assemble amino acid to form um, specific proteins because proteins is what it is a polymer of amino acid so when um, monomers of amino acid joins together then protein is formed so they assemble amino acid to form specific proteins proteins they are essential to carry out cellular activities protein is very much important to carry out metabolic activities in plants or in animals okay 
so they assemble amino acid to form uh, specific protein proteins are essential to carry out cellular activities the process of production of proteins the deoxyribonucleic acid it produces mrna m means messenger messenger rna by the process of dna transcription what is dna transcription that means uh, from dna mrna is formed and that process is called as dna transcription so the process of production of protein the deoxyribonucleic acid that is dna it produces mrna by the process of dna transcription the genetic message from mrna is translated into protein during dna translation translation means uh, uh, production of protein from mrna mrna is messenger rna okay so the genetic message from mrna it is translated into proteins during dna translation the sequence of protein assembly during protein synthesis are specified in mrna the mrna it is synthesized in nucleus where it is synthesized it is synthesized in nucleus and is transported to the cytoplasm for further process of protein synthesis that means entire uh, translation translation means protein production takes place in the cytoplasm see first dna is formed then from dna mrna is formed and from mrna protein is formed so this way protein is formed from dna okay so the mrna it is synthesized in nucleus and it is transported to the cytoplasm for further process of protein synthesis in cytoplasm two subunits of ribosome they are bound around polymers of mrna see this is mrna and this is one uh, or a smaller subunit of ribosome and this is larger subunit of ribosome so in cytoplasm two subunits of ribosomes they are bound around a polymer of mrna proteins are then synthesized with the help of transfer rna don't get too much into it just for the time being know that uh, mrna or you can say the two subunits of ribosome they are bound around the polymer of mrna and from mrna protein is formed with the help of transfer rna that is trna okay so the proteins that are synthesized by ribosome they are present in the cytoplasm they are used in cytoplasm itself okay so the protein which is synthesized by these uh, ribosome they are present in the cytoplasm and they are used in cytoplasm itself the proteins produced by bound ribosome they are transported outside the cell that means a uh, protein which is produced by bound ribosome by bound ribosome means the ribosome which is cling with the endoplasmic reticulum so the protein which is produced by the bound ribosome they are transported outside the cell okay so these are the main functions of uh, ribosomes and this was all about important cell organelle present in eukaryotes and that is ribosome which we also call it as protein construction team in my next section of the presentation we will discuss about endomembrane system so till then stay tuned and keep watching edupedia word videos thank you